going to change this part. On the waterway, the spring part of it is down in the bow loop here. Every other wet end except for the Guangdong is the ceramic part is down in here. So we're going to change the ceramic part first. All you would do is turn your uh, wet end over and just take a flat screwdriver and just lightly tap it right out. It'll come right out very easily. And you can see that I just removed it and you see it was siliconed in, which is correct. That's just a light coating of silicone. Keeps it from spinning and, and moving around and it makes, makes for a better seal. So that's why I do offer seal kits with the silicone with my special blend that's made specifically for hot tubs. So I'm going to clean this up real quick and get it ready and I will be right back. Stay tuned. Alright, so I got this cleaned up and I also cleaned the face up. Somebody had siliconed around it and put way too much. So to install this, what I'm going to do is take my seal and put a light coat of silicone around it. Not much, you just want enough that it's going to seal it in there and also make it slick and help it slide in. That's another attribute of silicone is it's slick. So I'm going to take this and just smear, smear it like that right there. Slip it down in there. And on these I use a half inch coupler. It will fit right on there and just gently push it right down in. Just like that. Just that simple. You can see where it's at on the back side. Now I'm going to put the part on the impeller. So we're going to do the same thing with this, but I'm going to actually slicken the shaft up on the impeller. Ever so light. Not much, just enough to help it slide. Slicken it up, you see that right there. Now, I'm just going to take this. You see there's a rubber piece right there. And you just hold that in one hand and just, you see with that silicone, it'll slide right down on there, just like that right there. That is a properly installed seal. So now the seal will go inside just like that right there. That's what it looks like from the back. So we're going to put her together. Stay tuned. Next, we're going to take the impeller and we're going to slip it in. I'm going to hold the shaft with my flat screwdriver and just screw it in until you fill it bottom out. Okay, that is, is it and you can see that the impeller is close to, you see the distance that it is from the edge. It's got a little bit of distance right there, about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. That should be all the way in. Next thing you're going to do is put the wear ring with the, the fat part out. Then I'm going to put a very light coat of silicone around this part again. And you can see this got a little, just a little seal, a little gasket on the edge. It's not in a groove like some of them are, like some brands. This is just a little thing on the edge. I'm not going to put much around, but I'm going to put enough to make a seal. Just like that right there. And you line that up. You see that little spot with that little spot right there. So it will go like this. Boom, that is on there. You start your screws in it. And what I'm going to do is run the screws in with my impact, but not too tight. I'm not going to snug it up. I'm going to snug it up by hand. ever so lightly in a cross pattern. 
just kind of pull it in. And if you go too hard, you're going to break the ear off the face or you'll pull one of the brass neurals out. Just ever so slightly. And then a nice cross pattern with your Phillips screwdriver. About as much pressure as I can put on it with a twist like that. That's what I put on it. Even almost like an impact. I mean, not an impact, but a, um, a torque wrench. I'm going to even click like a torque wrench. Are you scared yet? If you're scared, get my pocket. Check, make sure I did not miss one. Voila, there you have it a completed Aquaflow Flowmaster XP2. What I've just shown you how to do doesn't just work with this pump, it works with with basically any brand they're all very very similar and you see the parts that I replaced bad busted impeller new seal set two bearings we have them all in the store if you look over my head you can click that banner and it will take you to the Flowmaster series parts that these are in if you don't need Flowmaster go to that website click that and go to the website where you see Flowmaster Click in the box on the top left, or the yep top left, actually be your top left, yep, and put in your brand: Waterway, Stay Right, Aquaflow, um, Vico, Guangdong LX. Put them in. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. I am the spy guy, and we are hot tub parts of America.